Welcome back to another Yink software tutorial. Today, I'm excited to show you how to use the 3D Imaging System feature. This powerful tool lets you quickly and conveniently add new, custom data to your Yink software in real time, without needing to rely on the Yink support team. It's perfect for adding smaller, localized data, like new window films or individual car doors. For larger areas, such as full vehicle data, we still recommend using Yink Scanner for more comprehensive results. Let's walk through the steps to get your new data into the system. One, first, make sure you've used the 3D Photo Backdrop provided by Yink to take a picture of the car data you want to upload. Two, once you've taken the photo, click on the 3D Imaging System button in the software. Three, in the pop-up window, select the image file you just took. Yink supports .png or .jpg formats for this step. Four, the accuracy of your data depends heavily on how well you align the image with the grid on the backdrop. Once your image loads, you'll see a red selection box. Click and drag the box to align it with the squares on the backdrop grid. The more accurately you align the box with the grid squares, the more precise your data will be. If your photo wasn't perfectly straight, don't worry. You can zoom in and adjust the red box to make sure it lines up correctly with the grid. Five. Next, count the number of full squares that your shape occupies on the grid. For example, if the shape covers 10 squares along the x-axis and five squares along the y-axis, enter 1,000 millimeters in the x-axis field and 500 millimeters in the y-axis field, since each square represents 100 millimeters. Six. Once you've entered the measurements, click the triangle button to start the data recognition process. When it's done, click OK, and your custom data will appear on the canvas. Seven. Now you can edit, save, or share this new data just like any other data in Yink software. Keep in mind that while the 3D imaging system is great for adding smaller parts and localized data, like window films or car doors, for larger areas, like full vehicle scans, we recommend using Yink Scanner for more detailed and accurate results. And that's it. You've just learned how to use the 3D imaging system to create new data from scratch and add it to your Yink software. Keep practicing and be sure to check out our other tutorials for more tips on getting the most out of Yink. Thanks for watching.